The first game we're going to be doing today is called Cat in the Hat. Now, raise your hand if you've ever read the book Cat in the Hat. Oh, awesome. All right, hands down. Now, this game is just like the book. If you remember in the book, the cat starts to balance things and carry a lot of different things. Do you remember that part of the book? Yeah. What happens, raise your hand if you remember, what happens at the end when he balances too many things? Simone? He falls. He falls down. All the things go all over and it makes a big mess. Everybody say, oh no. Oh no. All right. So in the game, you're going to be trying to do the same thing the cat did in the book, and some of you will probably drop your items on the ground and make a big mess. Everybody say, but it's okay. But it's okay. Everybody say, it's just a game. It's just a game. All right, so here's how the game works. Please put your eyes on me and please listen. In front of you, you each have a bucket. Inside the bucket, there are different items. Every bucket has the same exact items in it, but... Each one has a different color, so you can't get your items mixed up. So red team, all your items are red. Yellow team, all your items are yellow. The way the game works, and this is actually going to be in the gym, so you're going to be outside. We're going to be playing that game Switch. Thumbs up if you remember how to play Switch. We're going to be playing that right outside on the blacktop, and then you're going to come into the gym to play Cat in the Hat. So this will be the first game you play in the gym. So the way the game works is you're going to um, get one item out of the bucket, and when they say go, you're going to run down, touch the jogging line with your foot, and then come back and hand the item to the next person. Now the next person can go ahead and get the next item ready. So when they come back and hand it to you, how many will you have? Two, two items. And then you're gonna go down and back and hand your two items to the next person who will already have another item in their hand. How many will they have now? Three. three. So as you can imagine, this gets harder and harder and you're balancing more and more things. If at any time when you're handing the items to the next person or when you're going down and back, you drop an item on the ground, you have to start over at one item. Should we yell at our friends if we drop an item? No. no, it's okay. Just put all the items back, go back and uh, try it again. You start over at one, go down and back, you can try to catch back up. Now, if your team is able to carry all the items down and back, you win. But if nobody is able to carry all the items down and back, when they come and blow the whistle, don't dump your items back in the bucket. Just go and stand by the bucket, and then the volunteer will come and count the items for you and see how many you have, because the team that has the most items before the time or at the end of the time limit will be the winner unless somebody can carry all the items which is very difficult any questions no. do you understand how it works yes, all right first person please stand up pick up the first item when the music starts you're going to run down touch the line and come back on your mark get set go uh-oh red team gotta start over That was a close one. That was a close one. Oh no! Yellow team, you gotta start at one. Start back at one. All right, please don't, don't move. Don't dump the items. Everybody have a seat unless you have the items. Go stand by your bucket if you have the items in your hand. If you have the items in your hand, please stand by your bucket. All right, so yellow team, you got two. Put them in the bucket. Have a seat. Nice job. All right, red team, we got one, two, three, four, five. Nice job. Have a seat. Five, six. Seven, eight, it's a tie between green and blue. Let's give them a hand, nice job. They had eight items in the bucket. Does everybody understand how to play? Yes. What are some things that you should probably think about when you are playing this game on field day? Scott? Don't Got to look where you're going, that is a good point. Look where you're going so you don't bump into people and fall down. Riley? Ooh, why do you say get the smallest ones? Because if they're the smaller ones, they're easier to carry. Mm. And also more items. Oh, so the smaller items might be easier to carry. That's an interesting idea. That's something good to think about. Simone? Um, we have this ring thing and we can put it on our arm. 
Ooh, you could put the ring on your arm. Yeah, you might be able to carry some items in different ways that will make it easier. Okay, so those are all great things to think about on field day. So think about those things. Please listen. It's now time for our next game. Thank you.